Okay, folks, back on the 5 Series, the 520D F10. I thought I would make a quick video because I had a bit of a mysterious coolant leak recently. Now, I have repaired it, but it was such an easy repair, but I think it would have been easily overlooked. And hopefully this video might help other people because I suspect this might be a bit more common than I initially thought when I looked for it. So, first sign was uh, alarm it off in the dash saying low coolant. And whenever I looked into the engine bay, now I have cleaned most of it off, but I could see coolant here. And quite a lot of coolant on that pipe there, and some down and around there. So I suspected a crack in this pipe. And I was looking around, and it was eluding me. I could not figure out. I thought it was spraying out or something. And um, I just couldn't really solve it for a day or two. I didn't know where it was coming from. So, and then I noticed you've got this little pipe running here and joins here and it disappears down in around the back of the alternator and let's see if I can see it there if you might need to lift the engine cover up to see it properly it joins there so it runs from here it's a very short pipe round in the back there and then that's it there you can see it with the wee green dot on it so that pipe there, I assume, this is the new one, I've replaced it, was possibly vibrating against this. And what gave it away was that there was a little bit of blue coolant on here. So I've just looked up and I noticed that the pipe looked like this. So I couldn't believe it. I think that the vibrations of the engine over time, this and this have just been vibrating together and it has literally worn a little hole in that line, which was letting enough out for it eventually to run low and for the car to notice and for it to spill down there. So it is the sort of thing that could lead to trouble if you didn't sort it out. And it was easy fixed. Um, I went and bought this part from BMW And uh, that part, I think, was only about £30 or so. So this is where it connects. So if you look in, there's the reservoir. If you follow out to here, you'll see it's just a typical... If I can get zoomed in there. You can get a screwdriver underneath there and just pull that pin up. And then you can pull this pipe away from this one and separate it. So it's a very short pipe. I say it just runs down in there. You can see it there with a wee green mark on the end of it. And there's two sort of wings either side. I just use two small screwdrivers to pry those sort of wings clips off. And just pulled that pipe away and refitted it in literally a couple of seconds. Very easy repair. Pop it back into the holder there. This part seems to be revised. There seems to be a tougher sheath on this now. But maybe to avoid that on the original part. If I, if I had a known, yeah, it was a cheap, easy repair, but it maybe would have put a bit of gaffer tape or something there in between those two or done something to separate them so that they don't vibrate together uh, and wear a hole in there. But just the way the coolant had sprayed out on this car, I was nearly convinced that it was this, this coolant line here. And I spent a lot of time looking for a pinhole or a crack and over a couple of days it nearly it nearly had me beat until I just noticed the coolant there and followed it up to that little hole and it was only whenever I held them apart like this that I could see this So it's a good week or so, or maybe two, since I've re replaced that little line there. And I've chucked the other one away. And the night I discovered it, I did put a little bit of tape around that. A little bit of duct tape, just so that I could top this up. And it would give me a day or two's grace, so I could go and get the part. Because it obviously I had to wait till 9 to 5 hours to get the part. And a little bit of tape there did actually plug up that hole enough for it not to lose coolant over that next day or two uh, so that I could replace the 
the line. So really, really easy line, really easy line to replace. It literally just runs from here, round in the back, and down in there. You can see it with the wee green mark on it. It's a very, very short uh, line, and it was only about 31 pounds. Took about 15 minutes to fix. <laughs> so it is an easy repair, but it was just how bizarre it was that had me eluded, and I thought I would make this video hoping that if someone else has a strange problem and it turns out to be this, maybe they haven't solved it yet, it might be worth looking just around here to see if that pipe has a hole worn in it through vibration, I assume, which causes a leak. It might be a more common problem than I thought, uh, but I thought it was really unusual. So I wanted to just document it just to see if it helps anybody else. So thanks very much for watching.